defenders throughout last season, taking the lead in each of the four league meetings. But Rangers were determined there would be no repeat of that, and Brian Loudrup showed some of his best form shooting narrowly wide. Georges Albert's power almost earned Rangers the breakthrough, and when Colin Meldrum could only parry the shot, Marco Negri, unusually for him, failed to find the target. Rangers finally went ahead just after the interval, when Perini and Laudrup combined, before the Dane crossed for Negri to score in spectacular fashion. Georges Alberts then showed that the hammer is still in good working order. His free kick scraped the bar with Meldrum well beaten. Kilmarnock tried to battle back, but Paul Wright's shot didn't seriously trouble Theo Snelders. The second Rangers goal came shortly after. Alberts fed Laudrup and his cross was expertly controlled by Negri before the striker finished in typical style. And for the first time, Marco showed the Rangers fans just how much scoring for the club means to him. Well, it was a tough match, that one. I think uh, when I read the reports uh, after the game, not many people give Kilmarnock any credit, and I felt that Kilmarnock worked very hard in the game, and he made us work to try and win that one. We had maybe a couple of really good opportunities in the first half of the game um, through Marco Negri and Brian Lauder. But at the start of the second half, we managed to get two goals um, quite early on through Marco Negri that were harder finishes than the, the two we missed. But uh, it was a very difficult match for us, that one. And Kilmar worked, worked extremely hard and he made us work very hard in the game. Reno Gattuso was desperate to score his first goal for the club and was unlucky not to break his duck with two good efforts. He was very close to it, yeah. I mean, he had a header that hit the bar and came back to him and he headed it again, he headed, you know, so, you know, for him, um, he's very close. I'm hoping to guess it. Um, he's not going to be a prolific goal scorer uh, from the middle of the park because, like Stuart McCall, he's a working type of player in there and the goals that they get are maybe few and far between. But um, he's got the enthusiasm to get in there and he'll get his goal and I hope he gets one soon. Rangers third came in injury time when Alberts teed up Stella Stensas for a real collector's item. The Norwegian remarkably drove the ball home with his right foot. And so a convincing win for Rangers and one which saw the champions return to the top of the table.